Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general forecast for the month of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, going to take a look at the energy around you <clears throat> at this time. Now we could pick up on love, we could pick up general energies, work, career, finance, whatever comes out here, we're just going to take the energy as it comes. So welcome in, hope everybody's doing well. And please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense for you, then it's not your reading. Uh, can be past, present, or future. And it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. So let's see what is going on with you, Sagittarius, at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, Links below in the description box to your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info is in the description box, also in the top comment. And um, another way to tip or donate, if you're not comfortable using PayPal, you may use Super Chat. That is open during the premiere. So as you're watching this, if you feel so inclined to tip or donate, please feel free if you would like to use Super Chat. If you do, thank you. So, Sagittarius, this is a zodiac oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. <clears throat> we'll see what comes out here. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. So let's see what kind of energy could be around Sagittarius at this time. Spirit, please. Oh, we got Pisces here. So some of you could be uh, dealing with the Pisces, have a Pisces around you, some way, shape, or form. It could be a, a friend, a family member, a co-worker, a lover. It could be anybody. Um, if you don't have a Pisces, uh, maybe you have Pisces in your chart or not. Um, totally fine. That's sort of like a little extra bonus. So with this deck here, I'm going to pull an opening message for you, Sagittarius. Opening message. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Opening message for Sagittarius. What is the opening message for Sagittarius? Oh, that's way too many. Way too many for Sagittarius, please. One card for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Feeling that one. And we have, ooh, rock bottom, which is 10. And 10 is about an ending or a completion of something. So you may be, you may be like feeling you're at a low point in your life right now. Something's coming to an end uh, and you feel like it's just, it's hit bottom. It's just, it's just rock bottom end here. Wow. Wow, Sag. Okay. So let's get one for your energy. Whatever situation you feel like uh, has come to its peak or it's like hit the bottom unfortunately it has and that spirit just confirming that for some of you this may not be for everybody this is general collective reading so please keep that in mind all right so what is your energy like for Sagittarius please spirit thank you okay it's sticking in my hand <clears throat> wide open which is 42 which is six six is a very healing balancing number so I want to read a little bit. Uh, rock bottom's pretty clear. Um, but I feel like maybe you're just open now for new things in your life. Whatever ended for you, maybe you're feeling open to new possibilities. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share, all, share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. So let's see. This card is the sign of the maverick who freely roams the wide open space of possibility. Allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream. So you may be uh, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations. You have unique a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world. The universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time so speak up and speak out so this is being open to new possibilities for you Sag or wanting to take or maybe wanting to travel um, 
just being open to new ideas and possibilities. All right, so on the bottom here, we have stuck in the mud, 42. Again, oh my God, <laughs> we have a mirror number here, 42 and 24. I can't make this up. Wow, stuck in the mud. So you feel like you've been stuck for a very long time in a situation. Whatever that is for you, it could be a relationship, it could be a, in your career, it could be anything here. Just feeling very, very stuck in a situation and you feel like it's just hit the bottom, like this, it's just can't get any lower. But now you're ready for new possibilities in your life. You're ready to unstick yourself from a situation and be open to new possibilities. A nice energy, Sag. All right, so I'm sorry about an ending, but you know it is what it is. All right, so Sagittarius, let's clarify this energy for you. <clears throat> and I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, send a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. And we just hit 10,000 subs a few weeks ago. So in honor of that, I am offering a contest to win a tarot deck. And also a free 20 minute of your reading, a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me. So if you're interested in that, fo follow the link in the um, description and top comment. It'll take you to the contest and how to enter. And if you're interested in that, so follow that link. And if you do, thank you and good luck to you. So it will be open, th open through March and I'll close it April 1st and then I'll pick a winner from there. All right, Sagittarius, let's clarify this energy. Why are we stuck? What hit rock bottom? What are you open to now? What's the new possibilities for you? Sagittarius. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen. Does it matter? You can be male or female watching this. So for some of you, it could be... Um, you know, it could be switching careers. Here, the king or queen. It says queen, but it can be king. Uh, pentacle energy, someone stable, grounded, uh, smart, practical. You know, gives birth to growth and abundance. Maybe good with finances. Let's see here. And now the princess of cups, which is the page of cups. That can be apologies. That can be... Um, you know, commu love communication of some kind. Hmm. Okay, let's see. It's like you could be open. You could also... <clears throat> <coughs> be open to being a queen, king or queen of pentacles. <coughs> Sorry, I've been sick and I've still got this nagging cough, so I apologize. So, so the queen of, I mean, you, you're you open now to be a king or queen of pentacles, somebody maybe, you know, leveling up your career or um, being your own boss, or whatever, whatever have you, but princess of cups here is also love communication, or it could be, you know, just being in a loving, compassionate energy, you know, as you move forward. Could be apologies, but usually page of cups is usually an offer of love of some kind or an apology. So it's like you're you could be opening up to expressing love to somebody and also furthering your career or your finances or something here also too. Because wide open, you're open to all the possibilities now that are open to you that are coming your way. It's like you're looking up, up, looking from the top of the mountain, and you're looking down on all the possibilities that you have now. It's like you go from going to from rock bottom, being stuck, now to be like being on top of the mountain, and now we're ready for new possibilities. Five of Pentacles. So yeah, feeling, you know, left out in the cold. This also can be man monetary lack. <clears throat> or worries, worries about mon, you know, monetary lack, abandonment left out in the cold, um, kind of energy. But now you have the Nine of Pentacles. So now, 
gaining your stability, being independent, could be single now, unstuck yourself from something that hit the bottom, but now you're on top. I don't want to say on top of the world, but now you're on top looking down at all the new possibilities, gaining your independence, gaining your uh, stability, being very smart and practical, you know, having everything you need, taking care of yourself, looking good, smelling good. All right, so let's see what else for you, Sag. What well, this is your brand new beginning. Wow. New possibilities, a brand new beginning. It's stable, it's grounded, it's prosperous, built on a firm foundation for the long term. So this definitely could be a new job opportunity or going towards a new job opportunity that will lead to abundance for the long term. It's a stable new beginning, divinely guided for you, handed down from the heavens above. As you see this little, I don't know if that's a butterfly coming down and saying, here's your Ace of Pentacles. All right, so one more for Sag. King, wow, so now we got the King of Pentacles. We got the King and the Queen. I feel like we were talking about career and love because Pentacles is about career, finances, and that sort of energy. But the Princess of Cups, Page of Cups, is about Orphans of love or loving communication or something like that. And now we have the king and queen of pentacles, which is divine counterparts here. It could be soulmates coming into business or a power couple here, um, owning their own business. Wow. And I just say at the beginning, you could be male or female watching this. So that could just be reiterating that, that male or female. That you can be this king or queen of pentacles starting at the ace. I want to be, and you're at the nine here, you're almost at the ten. So you went from the ace to the five to the nine. All right, so let's see what your actual situation here is for you. And I think I had gotten this in one of your readings. Um, your last general reading was about new beginnings successful new beginnings in career and love. So this is like almost coming out the same for some. Five of Swords. Ooh. I don't like that energy. That's like, do I just lay down and give up or do I keep fighting? Moon energy. So there's that Pisces energy. Moon. So I feel like the moon, you know, sometimes you can't see the path clearly. You're feeling disillusioned. can be about deep feelings also. And the five of swords is like, do I just, you know, lay down and be defeated? Or do I get up and fight and do what I have to do to get ahead? But this person's laying down in defeat mode. So I feel like, I feel like you're also in an energy of, uh, I don't know if I should just, give up but now wow the moon and the star and i just got this for leo that is just crazy leo just got the moon and the star back to back like this almost in the same exact spot here you have it here they had the had it as the last two over here that is just crazy so wow i feel like you want to give up because you can't see the path clearly but right in the middle of your spread here is to have faith, hope, and optimism. It's a divinely guided energy for you. And it's wishes and dreams coming true. It's right in the middle. So let's get a few more here. Eight of Pentacles. So that's putting in the work that you need to. Let's get one more. Three Sagittarius. Three Swords. So pain, heartache kind of energy. <clears throat> I feel like you have pain and heartache, things of the past that hit rock bottom, feeling stuck in the mud, different work, love, whatever here. And at times feeling like I just want to give up because I don't know, I can't see the path. I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know what's going to happen. But you have the star here. So this is saying to remain Hope to remain positive, have faith, hope, and optimism. 
your wishes and dreams will come true because you have divinely guided energy coming in for you as long as you keep putting in the dedicated effort and the work that you need to and get past that pain and heartache of the past from the energy of being stuck in and hitting rock bottom. It could be rock bottom of a situation, a relationship, or you just feeling like in, I hit rock bottom in my life because maybe I just come out of a relationship that hit rock bottom, my career isn't where I want it to be, and I'm just feeling like, ugh. But to keep working because you have this divinely guided energy coming in for you with the star, you can't see it with the moon, but it's there. You have the king and the queen of pentacles. So let's see. Let's see the Sagittarius. What's the advice for you, Sagittarius? Now the king of cups. So that's Pisces energy again. But again, this is somebody... Now cups is about love, emotions, feelings, that kind of energy. But sometimes the king of cups doesn't always say how they truly feel. Though they do have love and emotions compassionate kind of energy but they don't really wear their heart on their sleeve wow so wow okay so these just flew out together so we have the ace of wands so that's that fire energy leo sag aries very fiery passionate new beginning of some kind exciting project endeavor career idea relationship anything here fire <laughs> love and fire brand new beginning and then we have strength here which is leo so do you have love and a fiery passionate energy towards a leo i don't know that's just exactly what it says there <laughs> crazy so but strength is about you know having strength courage determination willpower to go after this ace of wands that you, you are a loving, caring, compassionate person. You do have that energy. What else? Else for Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. Yes, stress, worry, fear, anxiety. But you're stressed out about all these new, all these new possibilities here that are wide open to you. Now that you're I feel some of you going in a whole new direction in life. Could be single now. Change, trying to change careers. A whole, it's like a whole new life. And being very stressed, stressed out about this fear, anxiety, nervous, worry. But the advice is here, you know, you do have the strength to do this, to go after this fiery, passionate new beginning whether it's love, career, whatever here. But there is love involved with the King of Cups. Deep feelings, emotions. Though may not be saying how you truly feel. But you can move forward with love, compassion, and peace and harmony. With this Ace of Wands. So that's your advice. So let's see what the possible outcome may be here for you Sagittarius I'm feeling like a whole new change of life for you <clears throat> Sagittarius so wow so and I had thought about the ten of pentacles earlier and I didn't say it and spirits like well here it is I'll make you say it <laughs> and we have the hierophant so the ten of pentacles is total wealth abundance prosperity for the long term it's usually the marriage card or something like that or a family dynamic or a legacy of, of a family generations, but it's growth, abundance, prosperity for the long term, having everything you need and not having to worry about that. The Hierophant can be about religion, faith, um, structure, doing what's moral, just and right, uh, institutional things, you know, government, school, you know, all that kind of energy and commitment, marriage also. Hmm. Let's get one more. This is the possible outcome. I, it's like you're looking, you're looking at that 10 of pentacles, like 
like I could see it over there. I could see it. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> All right, so let's get one more. And temperance. Well, there you are. Temperance. Wow. That's crazy. So that's your energy. So this is telling you to have patience, faith, hope, optimism, healing energy, balance, to balance your energy. It's all about balance and patience with the temperance card. It's usually about soulmates coming back together sometimes, um, getting what is meant for you. I feel like, you know, the Hierophant is about, you know, commitment and that kind of energy. Stay committed to your journey because you do have this Ten of Pentacles coming in for you. And this is your energy with Sagittarius. Stay balanced. Have patience. What's coming for you is coming for you. We got the sun right there, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Victory. Best card in the deck. But let's see what's on the bottom. Six of Pentacles, so there's your balance. So two cards of balance, equal give and take. So things will balance out. And air energy here with the King of Swords, having mental clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, um, standing up for yourself, honest communication, justice here. So this could be, you know, legal matters. It could be divorce. It could be... Um, getting what's moral, just, and right in your life, things balancing out, having truth and clarity, getting the justice you deserve, eight of wands. So there's that fiery, passionate action forward, movement travel. They also sometimes call, call it Cupid's arrows. Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. So rushing in here, you could be wanting to rush in uh, Three of Cups as a reunion rush into <clears throat> a reunion with somebody and now we have the king of wands which is your energy so we have the king of wands wanting to rush in to a reunion with somebody here and shoot them with your arrows of love fast action communication maybe after there's been a divorce having that truth and clarity of wanting balance <laughs> that's what i see or this is just getting what is uh, right for you in your life and feeling balanced and having that mental clarity. You know, feeling like you've finally got justice in your life. You can move forward now with action, drive, and passion. Going out, celebrating, having a good time. Taking fast, swift action movement forward with that mental clarity. But be careful of your energy. Sometimes the Prince of Swords can be reckless, so be careful. But this is your energy, King of Wands. Being a fiery, passionate go-getter, going after what you want, a lot of drive and ambition, creative ideas, um, entrepreneurship kind of energy. So all that energy is here, however that resonates for you. It could be both. It could be career, love, could be everything. But we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Libra. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. We have... Let's see, what do we have here? We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, uh, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, what do we have here? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I'm gonna make a mess of my cards. There's the other other signs that I see. So I'm gonna pull some extra cards with this deck to close this out for you. Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, if you're new and you like my channel, you like how I read my energy, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. You get um, two love, two general, and a bonus. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some bonus extra messages here for you. The Sagittarius spirit, please. And this one to stick. Just a laugh. So 14, 5 is about change. So maybe you need to change your energy. <clears throat> if you've been sad or depressed or that, you know, nervous, stressed, 
kind of energy with the nine of swords. Maybe it's time to kind of raise your vibration, uh, be in a good energy and try to be positive and see the, you know, lighter side of life or kind of energy. Go out, have a good time. All right, so let's get some more messages here for you. Get over yourself. <laughs> okay, so we got one. One is about a new beginning. So if you're stuck in your ego, pride, stuck in your head, it's time to just get over what is holding you back so you can move forward and be open to all these possibilities coming your way. I feel like you could have a soulmate, a divine counterpart coming your way. You could have your career could be changing, could be making, you know, more money, being more stable. You got fire, you got passion. Wow. I do see commitment in marriage here, so that could be involving whatever, you know, hit rock bottom here, or there could be some sort of new commitment of some kind uh, for you in the future. However, that resonates for you. All right, so what else for you, Sagittarius? Share your gifts. And we have 62, which is eight, again, about taking action, travel, communication. So needing to share something here, share your gifts, whatever that means for you. Share your gifts with the world to the, with these new possibilities coming your way. Share yourself, share, share. Okay, so let's get, see if there's one more. Change the scenery, 12, which is three, <clears throat> which is about teamwork, collaboration, kind of energy, people coming together. So you may need to change some things. Uh, maybe you need to get out more. Maybe you need to, um, if you're spending a lot of time in the house, maybe you need to just get out, you know, change the scenery, you know, go travel or do something here. Or maybe you need to redecorate your house or things, some things need to change here. So you're not feeling so bored and melancholy and stuck. And then on the bottom we say, we have say no. And we have 36, which is nine, which is about an independent energy. Nine is also about coming to a completion and then 10 be ending one new beginning. So something here is say no, uh, whatever that is means for you. We do see a couple here. So if somebody, you know, from the past, maybe whatever hit rock bottom, they're wanting to uh, come back and work it out. I don't know, maybe it's just telling you to say no. Something here, however that resonates for you, um, something that you feel would hinder you or hold you back from these new possibilities, I think Spirit wants you to say no, whatever that energy is for you. <coughs> okay, Sagittarius, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.